With Folly Right, the scorer enters all information, including Libro movements, so many people think that a Libro tracker is not needed or required. However, a quick examination of the rules books reveals that a Libro tracker is required, and not just because these books are referring to paper scoring. While it is true that only one person can enter information on a computer effectively, there is a definite need for the extra set of eyes. The tracker becomes more of a spotter who watches the court like an oscillating fan and talks about what's happening, then checks the screen to be sure everything has been entered correctly. Can a scorer use VolleyWrite without a spotter? When teams may not play with a Libero, one person can score with VolleyWrite because the R2 stops play for each substitution. But at higher level matches, which utilize Liberos, there should be a spotter to be compliant with the rules and to ensure that all Libro activities are recorded, since the Libro can go on and off the court without a referee's intervention. Scoring those high-level matches without a spotter is physically possible, but if the goal is to eliminate mistakes and delays, a spotter is the best insurance policy you can get. Can the scoreboard operator be my spotter? I've seen many scoreboard operators do double duty, updating the scoreboard in the scoreboard operator role and announcing the actions on the court in the Libro tracking or spotter role. The display is big enough to make this possible. Of course, the ideal situation is to have a separate individual to perform each function. But in reality, not all organizations have the ability to have a separate scorer, Libro tracker, and scoreboard operator. So what exactly does a spotter do? If you're the spotter, this is what you'll do before each set. Read the lineups to the scorer so they're entered quickly and accurately. Then check that the display matches the lineup diagram after it's been entered. When the players enter the court, verify their positions, along with the scorer and the R2. When either team's Libro enters the court, announce it to the scorer and check the screen to be sure the Libro is in the correct position and the correct number is in the replacement box. During a set, you should repeat each substitution and check the display to ensure that it has been recorded properly. Inform the scorer of the player contacting each serve and make sure the contact is indicated in the server verification bubble. Inform the scorer of Libro exchanges and include which player entered and which player left the court. For a double replacement, you would indicate that player number 5 is back on the court and the Libro is serving for player number 10. And lastly, ensure that each point is awarded to the correct team. For each timeout, you should inform the R2 whether each team's Libro is on or off the court, and when the timeout is over, compare the players on the court to the display to be sure the correct players return to the court. If you have any questions about the role of a spotter, or any other scoring questions, please contact us at info at